I could hear like the sounds. I can I can smell the smells. Like it was it was really. You can smell the smells when you watch anime. <clears throat> I was just maybe I'm doing it. Why wrong. are you like busting my balls today? Maybe I'm doing it. I, wrong. I, 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 <laughs> Very excited to be talking about this specific manga today, Demons of the Shadow Realm by Hiromu Arakawa, the same mangaka of Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Now you already know it's going to be a banger um, because right. it's written and drawn by the same person that did Full Metal. Banger. Go. That's news to no one. Go. Absolutely. <laughs> Queen. But just how good this was, was something I was not expecting. How how good is it? <laughs> well, Megan, before we get into um, um, our beat by beat discussion, we're going to give you a quick synopsis just in case you know nothing about it. And then we're going to give you a spoiler free review because there's some stuff that happens chapter one that I don't want to spoil for nobody. So, uh, Megan, why don't you do the honors of and then we'll go beat by beat. Why don't you give us the yeah, honors? You know what? You know what it is. Yeah, you know <laughs> We're the so drill. We're so casual. You know the drill. <laughs> For people that are like, "What is this? I've never seen this on your channel before." Um. Yeah. Anyway, ancient demons awaken to fight a new battle in an age-old war, in a remote mountain village, under the watchful eyes of two stone guardians. The young Yuru contentedly lives off the land while staying close to the only family he has left, Asa his precious twin sister. Asa, meanwhile, carries out a mysterious duty on behalf of the village while locked in a cage. Why is Asa a prisoner? And what other secrets does Yuru's otherwise ide ideally, ide um, ide ideally, ide ide idyllic, ide idyllic, idyllic home hide? Whoa. Idyllic? Idyllic, yeah. Idea Stop. Um, based on the synopsis alone, Megan, and, and knowing that this came from the mangaka, the creator of Full Metal Alchemist, what were you expecting? And, and how did you feel? Spoiler free. I mean, right off the bat, I mean, the art style is you can, I, at first glance, you would think that this is fucking a Full Metal spinoff. Yeah. You think <laughs> yeah. that this is, a uh, like Winry and, uh, what's his fool's name? It's like child. Like, it, oh yeah. It looks totally a lot that. like the both of them. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. and yeah i mean I, I i didn't read the synopsis i had no idea what it was about going in um but yeah just based off of the art i was like it's gonna be very reminiscent and i never read full metal i only watched, watched brotherhood mm -hmm. um in my adult life though i think i watched it when i was like 22 23 um, and I was obsessed with it, like most people are, because it's that good. Um, but never read any of her stuff, so I didn't really know what to expect. But there's a lot of twists, a lot of turns in the first volume, mm -hmm. a lot of info, um, which we'll talk about a little later. Um, but I didn't really mind it, because there was a lot happening, and you're kind of just like thrust into the world, and usually it'd have a problem with a lot of like... Exposition. Exposition, all jam-packed in the first couple chapters of the manga, but I think the mangaka just needed to get it out of the way in order to like tell the story that she wants to tell because it is a lot <laughs> um, yeah. so expect to be like okay this 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 but towards the end of the first volume like you kind of just settle with it all and you're like oh, okay so now it i kind of, yeah i know what to expect uh moving forward but uh, yeah i would say it was like really entertaining um very fluid it felt like i was like watching an anime like it, it i can hear like the sounds i can i can smell the smells like it was it was really you can smell the smells when you watch anime <clears throat> i was just maybe i'm doing it why wrong. are you like busting my balls today maybe i'm doing it I, wrong. i literally say a word wrong in the synopsis you didn't say it you said it wrong multiple times and then paused and then i told you how to say it and you kept saying it wrong on purpose that's not busting balls you're busting my balls we're busting each other's balls <laughs> <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's it. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, For me, yeah. I mean, non-spoilery first impressions. Yeah, I'll be I'll be honest. You know, uh, let me hold it now. Yeah, yeah you have to the power. <laughs> yeah, um, it had it had it had a high bar um, 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 to hit. My expectations were super high. I'm obsessed with Full Metal. It's been a while since I've I've watched it. 
Um, and I watched, you know, the OG anime and Brotherhood, but never read it either. Um, but it, it was such a huge part of my identity at a certain point. Mm -hmm. I, I fucking absolutely love Full Metal. I had really no idea that the manga had come out with another manga until somebody in our community told us. And I Wait. think as of this recording, there are only, I have it pulled up here just for reference, but there are only, I think, eight volumes. Oh, Eight okay. volumes that have been released, um, I think, in English. And mm. it was published in 2021, the first volume. 2022. June 22. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah, it came out, the chapter came out in the magazine in 2021, oh, and then the volume it, came out it, in 2022. Get it, get it. Um, okay. So, yeah, I was pretty new. Pretty, pretty new. Pretty new. Pretty new. But even I wonder, still. I wonder um, how, how everyone's response is to it, because I have not heard anything about That's, it. <laughs> I have not heard a single peep um about it uh you know we're, we're we're frequently on socials uh mainly twitter which is x now yeah. um but yeah i mean when new series come out and 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 people are you know even manga cuz like even assistants that get um from manga manga cuz assistants to manga cuz when they get in manga then it's talked about like i just feel like this is not being talked about so i wonder why that is. I think in general, manga is a little bit more low key. You know, there are some that sort of like break through the noise and are able to, you know, grab people's attention. But but that's why I'm curious why this didn't. And maybe we just missed the train. Well, again, I think that the there are I think that there are different um, pockets of the internet that are like really talking about manga versus anime. I feel like anime is always going to be louder. Well, I'm um, talking about manga. I'm talking about. No, manga. I know, but even even me in general, like I can't tell you how often like new manga comes into my feed or like. And that's social media and that's YouTube. Like, I feel like I have to go out of my way to like search for it. It's not just like being shown to me. That's my, that's my own personal algorithm, I guess. But uh, my, my, my thing is the fact that it is from the creator of such a big series. Like we're talking about like a staple of anime and manga. To your point, I thought I would have heard something sooner. Um, however, even though it had a lot to live up to, Again, it, it really, truly did exceed expectations. And why it's so important for us to not spoil anything um, in this first section is because, like, in the first chapter, there are some twists and turns that genuinely, like, got me um, that were done so, so well. Uh, and to tell you on it more, I mean, obviously, daemons are, are in the title of the manga, so it does feature um, um, uh, daemons that are partnered with humans but that is such a surface level synopsis of of what to expect i think that uh the creator uh, you expect nothing less from from them but the characters are so fully like formed they 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 like they know who they are and you know who they are like the world while it is throwing a lot at you about how the world works like it's it's a world that has been fully fleshed out. Like yeah, you could feel that too. It has a history, and that history is is goes deep, and it makes sense, and you feel that you really really do. And like Megan said, yeah, it is throwing. There's a lot of dialogue. Can you believe it? Hundred percent. A lot of dialogue. A lot of things being thrown at you in the beginning. A lot in the first volume, I would say. Yeah, it doesn't really stop until like the towards the end. But like you also said, as it keeps going on, it gets like. Uh, it becomes less and less and you start to feel the characters come through more and more and you it, I love the way you said it, it does sort of settle and it becomes what I think it's going to be going forward and it's just, it was already good but now it's just, it's found its footing and it's standing like firm in that and it's so much better. Well yeah, already. you're you're like getting tossed around throughout like the first volume much like the main character and like his reality being mm -hmm. broken, like you are stepping into like his new reality and what that means. And I, I you know, front loading exposition, it really has to be done well in order for it not to be boring or too much. And even if you have a character who knows nothing about like what they're seeing or what they're doing, sometimes you're like, okay, but it's not working. Like I, you, you, you're giving me this, but I don't, <laughs> It's not making the exposition better. Yeah. It's not making the dump better. Um, but in this instance, there was so many new things that the character was having to deal with that it felt 
like fine like it felt okay well this has to like yes it needs to be explained because when else is it going to be explained and it was kind of in a rush because of the circumstances that were happening not in a rush that like oh we're like cool like we're, we're sick like you're finally settled now we could tell you all about everything no it was like okay we're like going we have to go so let's talk about it on the way yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, that's why it felt a little better i think yeah yeah it, it was just like it was really well executed and there are things that are like kind of familiar but for the most part like even the things that feel kind of familiar still are different feel fresh and are new different. and because they're done so so well and let me say another thing that i really really enjoyed about this um first volume is that in, in the first chapter it, it, it kind of sort of sets up a villain right but the villain by the end of that first chapter or even into the second chapter it's a bit gray so gray so gray well yeah and I, I really want to talk that's something that i want to talk about too because that is a twist that i am sure will lead to a lot of interesting um it's just dynamics di interactions. yeah interactions yeah. even like the story and how it moves forward and what they both represent is also like really interesting and and it's just it, it it's really well done like it they're contentious relationship which is kind of like I'll, I'll talk about it. I don't I'm saving my thoughts it's hard not to give any spoilers because I want to talk about um the reason why I like it but we'll we'll get there sorry no it's sorry okay. to blue ball hey give them something to look forward to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go read it yeah. I'll say that genuinely dude like it, sure it's been a while since we've done a volume one but like at, at a certain point it's all we were doing and and we were we were reading a lot of first volumes and not only is this first chapter like phenomenal and i think does everything a first chapter needs to do but i think this first volume is like almost perfect dude like almost perfect yeah she's really good at creating characters and creating believable relationships between characters that are solidified and that you can feel have a history like all throughout full metal and um, we get to meet that like couple that wife and husband um um i think she i forget what she was she was like uh, i forgot what she was i forgot too it's i been forgot a long too time. you know who i'm talking about yeah i know you're and talking they about, like but, loved yeah. each other and and they were like awesome and they just were introduced and then you were like oh i know exactly who these people are like i i they're awesome um even like other dynamics between characters like she's really good at that mm -hmm. and you're introduced to two characters in the first volume that that does that really well um and you're just excited to see more of them by the end of like the first volume we're like oh i love this like dynamic that they have and even the dynamic the main character has um with two other characters that we meet i'm so excited to see more of like their dynamic and what they could do all together mm -hmm. um yeah it, it just excites me to to to, to see more interactions between these characters not just the story moving forward because i'm hooked on the characters now the story will come and, and it'll be to, to my liking no? <laughs> like yeah. if i'm not invested in the characters and i don't want to read it like yeah. if the story's great but the characters are ass then this is not worth it like yeah. and even if it's like a mix of it then okay but like i i like the main character i like the characters already I'm going to enjoy the story yeah. that they lead, that they follow. And and I'll and I'll say the last thing I I, I have um to add in the spoiler free section is just the art. Of course, you know what to expect. Like Megan said, you look at the cover; it looks like a freaking uh, Full Metal spinoff. <laughs> um, this is giving a, a very uh very Edward. Um, Edward, yeah. Um, but but you can tell it's seasoned, seasoned, fucking seasoned to perfection. Yeah, the art um the artist the mangaka has has really honed their craft. And the character designs are so good. You know, I, I I love the Seven Deadly Sins. Obviously, a lot of designs of Full Metal Alchemist Scar, like they all go of them. So all of them, go no, so like all of them, hard. Um, but here again, we're already introduced to, to some really cool characters with some really cool character designs. Again, the art is immaculate, um, and you know what to expect. I mean, what to expect? Like yeah. it's a professional. Like <laughs> for real, it's literally professional. Like um this is a seasoned veteran uh when yeah. it comes to creating stories so it is it's it's awesome i mean you could just feel like the love that she put into it as well like i'm sure there's a fear for mangaka um who create multiple different series and one series that's beloved 
um, creating a new one that's completely different, completely not the same, kind of similar to Naruto Kishimoto, Samurai yeah, that's 8. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Um, Samurai 8? Yeah. I think yeah, it yeah, is. I think, yeah. 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 It is. Um, there's always that fear of like, will they like it as much? It's completely different. Nothing to do with the character that everyone loves. Um, you know, similar art. Like, this is, you see it, like you said, you see it, you see her style, her very distinct style. Um, and you would think that like, oh, I, I'm going to like it because I like the style of the art. It's like, no, it's, it is different too. Yeah. But in like the best way, like everything's different about it, but she still is able to show her like distinct style and you know it, I, it's hard to explain because Again, I only watch the anime, but I, I know what her style looks like. And even reading this, I'm not thinking of Full Metal. Yeah, like, and, I'm not saying yeah. like, oh yeah, okay, that looks like Edward is well, gonna. That character is that character. Yeah. And that character. No, that no, no, character. no. Yeah, it's not that at all. Yeah, it's not like, that at all. These are their own separate characters. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Um, I, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this, but um, you should definitely, definitely read it. Like you were saying, like I imagine it's a lot of pressure to want to like, especially when when you've created a series like Full Metal. Um, that is up that there. was number one on my anime list for like fucking years that 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 like is good and stuck the landing and that almost people unanimous like nowadays because of social media the internet I feel like endings like people are so divided on them mm. um, but like I feel like in my opinion universally people are like oh yeah full metal beginning middle end great like stuck it's the all landing. so good like so to risk I guess tarnishing that legacy, uh, it must be scary, but like this only adds to the legacy. And and I think that if you're a fan of that story at all, and even if you're freaking not, dude, like if you're a fan check of just her this out. Like, like read this now. Yeah. A fan of her and, and even like the synopsis of it sounds interesting. Like demons are obviously like spirits, gods, yeah, demons. It's it's level. a play on demons, I yeah. think. And I even think it has a different name. I think the English name is different than the Japanese Probably. name. I'm pretty sure. Probably. Um, maybe that's why we're like <laughs> it's a d different <laughs> translation. We're not saying a lot of it. Um, but yeah, yeah. I we talked about it um uh, briefly before we started recording, and you were saying like you, I mean we say this all the time, but like you said, you could definitely see yourself like continuing it. Oh yeah, I want to go buy the rest of them ASAP. Yeah, like, and there's only eight out. And I wonder how long it's going to go on. Um, and I wonder what other things will happen. But yeah. Yeah. Read it if you haven't uh, read it yet. Check it out and then come back. Because this is going to conclude our spoiler free section. And we are going to get into spoiler territory. So um, <gasps> if you don't want to be spoiled, here is your warning. We're giving you about warning, three warning, seconds to warning. get out of here. If you're three, only listening to this, then get two, out. <laughs> one. All right. Now it is spoiler time uh, and we're going to go through b by b we're going to go through it very quickly and we're going to talk about some of the things that we love and some of those reveals that um, happen in the first chapter right so we open up um with this woman giving birth to twins and one of them has blonde hair one of them has black hair and i was like twins like love a good twin story love like it. who doesn't love a good twin story love it like I just that's cool um, and then we see our main character again very Edward like very Edward, yeah. <laughs> looks a lot like in, Edward in design yeah. in design um, I mean I think that she loves her blonde boys mm -hmm. so you know we, we get the main character being one of them and they're in like a village so you're thinking like okay this is definitely a story in the past yeah set in the past um, set in the past you know they're riding on horses farming the architecture is like brick and um, you know it's just like everyone's dressed in like old garb and he um, comes to visit his his, his sister mm -hmm. who's in like a cage. And this one I was yeah. like, whoa, well, whoa, whoa. And we assume because of the way that it happens in the beginning that, uh, you know, she is in a cage because they are twins born on opposite sides of the sunrise. Like, so sunrise and sunset, essentially. So their names are Asa and Yuru. Which is um, like Asa and Yoru. And Yoru. You're familiar with Chainsaw Man Part 2. Yeah. Um, the children who sunder day and night have been born. So I assume, okay, um, she's in a cage because <laughs> she's night. He's day. <laughs> she's she's in a cage. night. She's, she's bad. <laughs> yeah. She's up to no good. She is just like a cute she's little cursed. girl. She just has like long black hair. 
Um, you could tell he like dotes on her. They're fraternal twins. Right? What is it? Yeah, fraternal? fraternal. What is it? Fraternal. So, um, boy and a girl twins. And yeah, she seems sweet. She seems yeah, she seems nice. fine. And everybody in this village seems like they really like Yuru, like that he's this really stand up guy. He is. even he's, has a, a he friend is. that, um, you know, is kind of a little lazy and, and you know, just that friend that 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 childhood friend, that childhood that friend that everybody has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he like hunts and, and does things for them, um, too. And they keep talking about dragons, seeing dragons smoke in the air and dragon roars, dragon hearing dragon roars and yeah. seeing dragon smoke. Which again, based on the setting and everything, makes sense. Okay, dragons. Okay, I, I that mean, makes sense. Makes sense. There's a girl trapped in a cage. Like, yeah. there's gonna be dragons. There better be fucking dragons. <laughs> <laughs> if you know? not, then we're calling CPS. <laughs> yeah, there's something's going on. <laughs> um, and something's going on uh, because lo and behold, uh, the the uh, and you we're speeding through crack. it. Yeah, we are um, because you... we're not gonna go through everything a single you know uh, moment of the manga. No. But like things start to to rumble and the dragon starts to come down. And again, paneling is everything because you flip the page and the first thing you see in a big half page panel is a fucking helicopter. Ah, I was screaming. Ah. And not only it's like special ops that get off of this helicopter. And just start slashing. And start, no, shooting with oh, guns. Well, sh but some of them slash. Some of them are slashing, but they pull out like guns. And everyone's like, what is this shit? Yeah. No one knows what's happening. No Nobody. one knows because they they don't they think uh, yeah, a helicopter is a dragon. They see them or they hear them, but they I don't think they've ever been this close to them because No, I think they, everybody they there explain. knows. I think everybody there knows. It, well, I'm not everybody, but I think a lot of people that you think don't know do know. Because oh, well, his friend his friend doesn't know, but I think there's... maybe that's cuz he's a kid. Uh, I mean, a lot of them have been <sighs> that's the thing. I don't I know. Mean, I it depends. It depends. it depends. It depends. It depends. Anyway, um, so they start coming down, shooting people. Some people don't know. Some people do. Um, this is like the first time that he's seeing any of this shit, the main character, um, seeing like the helicopters and guns. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, steer clear of those things because they're shooting stuff out that like is definitely lethal, like the bullets. So yeah, he's like, stay clear. Like fucking Legolas, bro. He's got a bow and he's got <laughs> he arrows. Does. And he's like, pow, 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 he's good. Shit. I mean, he's talking about these two spirit deities, the left right. and the right, that guard him. And he's got to go through this underground tunnel to save his sister. But guess what? Someone is already there. Pippi Longstocking. And that, and that someone has an eye patch. Looks very oh, evil. Oh, I, I, was, I was talking about Pippi Longstocking. Oh, well, Pippi Longstocking comes in and she falls from the helicopter, too. She does. Uh, she's and cool. she's like, hi. And then she just like does this thing with her fist. And then it cuts to like the other panel. And this guy's just like cut in half, like half of his body's gone. Again, already like half of his body's gone. And I'm like, whoa, people have powers like it. This scene alone was like, what the fuck is actually going on? Like, what's right. happening? It happens so fast. People are dying. She's like killing all the adults and the kids are like spared. She's not killing any kids. Bro, and I so fucking, she's, yeah, yeah, I hear the the rudders and I hear the guns. You smell the hear, smells, I bitch. Hear, I smell the smell. You, right. you smell, smell the smell 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 fucking gunpowder. See? Uh, it makes sense. It you makes sense. The, I apologize. The, the, the dirt, the blood. I really did. And, and the way you're talking about this character's ability, this character with pigtails, um, their ability, the way, again, it was drawn and conveyed was so, it was just so clear. Um, oftentimes in manga, I've talked about before, too, with all these abilities and things like that and characters that can do all these crazy things when it they can start doing shit. It, it could be hard to follow. But she's literally like going chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, she's chomping bitches. Like with her hand, just literally just doing this like motion. If I'm like this, and like Josh is like half of his body's gone. And something is taking bites out of them. And you could see like even in the dirt, like that was the panel that really like sold me on everything in the dirt, the, the marks left behind by this like chomping uh, motion that she keeps doing. And already just so interesting, so intrigued, so hooked. And then we see the character that's already there at his, at his sister's cage. And this character looks very stereotypically evil with an eye patch I'm all you, in black. She loves blonde, but two things that she you, she ain't gonna fuck with. My my girl Hiromi. Blonde boys mm -hmm. and eye patches. Right. Ain't gonna fuck around with. Ain't like, gonna fuck like not yeah, gonna it, not have it in my mind. Right, not gonna like, not have it. I have to have it. Yeah. Um that's that's so that's her signature. But I, I'm here for it. I'm here I for it, it too. But it is like it's so funny seeing like eye patch. I I feel like I think of Full Metal. Like I feel like I see that bitch. 
yeah. in my head when I think of an eye patch. It, I mean, again, this character, and I think it's very purposeful, looks uh, uh, very stereotypically evil. And we find out that this is his actual sister, the main character, Yuru's actual sister, Asa, she, not the girl in the cage. No, because she fucking nukes the girl in the she cage. She kills her so fast that you're like, what the fuck? She like blows that? her head open. Goes, with <sighs> with a different ability. Yeah. Um, that, 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 yeah, it, 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 with a force that's so incredibly strong, it just sort of like comes from the palm of her hand. And she says, uh, she reveals that she is Yuru's real sister, not this girl here. And, and the blood of this girl becomes, uh, comes alive and like holds her back. Um, yeah. um, um, while Yuru escapes, uh, because the, the granny who we've seen throughout at this point is also in on it and seems to be like the head honcho. And she's like, get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go there. After <laughs> a you. lot of people are in on it. Even like there was this, there's a guy that you meet and he is like a person that brings stuff in and out of the village. He goes to like the nearby town and like brings them trinkets and like food and other things. Um, he's in on it too. Cause he was using a cell phone. You're like, how does he know how to use a cell phone? Um, and then he gives him this amulet thing and he puts it in the ground. And this is when I was like, whoa. Like everything else, I was like, whoa, this is fucking crazy. But this one, I was like, whoa. Yeah. Like this is about to be, this is about to be fun. Like yeah. this is when it was fun for me. Yeah. When I knew that this was just like going to be different, I guess. Um, he puts the stone in the floor and then these two motherfuckers pop out on a rock and they're his demons. They're the right and the left spirit. Right arm, what is it? Left arm spirit? I mean, he just calls them the right and the left. And, and, the and, right and, and, and there's the a left. lot of um, um, pairing that goes into this. Like pairs are very significant, obviously with twins, obviously with the right and the left, but also every daemon wielder. And there are also people called seers who can see the daemons but don't have any of their own. Um, but even the daemons themselves are uh, exclusively exist within pairs. Um, we meet a couple more, um, the, specifically the girl with the pigtails. It is revealed that she has a daemon that does look like a giant mouth that I assumed was one daemon, but it is two, the upper jaw and the lower jaw. We meet another one later that looks uh, like a, 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 a certain kind of fish, the fish that has a little shit on its head to lure I, in. Its oh my prey. God. It was literally like the SpongeBob movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of movies have, have used that fish at, for that gag or for that, that with the granny. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, if you and know, that, and that is a, a a separate daemon than the fishes, I believe. Like they are two that make up one. So yes. pairs are very significant in daemon, and, and they look cool. They look so they look fucking cool. cool we bro. got like this burly ass like demon guy with two horns, earrings, and then we have like a woman daemon, and she has one horn, and they just look so badass. They look like they're ready to fuck shit up, and they do. Um, they do. But already you could tell that this kid doesn't fuck around, man, because this is another thing that I really liked about this story was that this kid is gifted these demons, these these e these entities, these spirits that grant him power. Um, and, and also so, that he commands. That like he they're commands. his master. Like they call him like, oh, you're our master now. We take right. commands only from you. So you would assume that anybody any other shonen protagonist in this situation would 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 try to figure out how to harness these abilities or like what this power is and how he is to control it. But his first reaction is his gut reaction mm -hmm. was to tell them like, okay, so you'll do whatever I tell you to do. Go save anybody else that might still be alive. And, the, and that's a request. The one command that I'm giving you is to leave that one for me. Like the pigtail one because yeah, you're fighting her right now. Crazy. Like already like has... Is a character that still wants to do things on his own, and so he's yeah, like I love out that. fucking arrows I and love shooting that. this bitch while the other daemon is is dealing with her daemon, and it's just it's well, so I, good. It was like so the setup to the, that scene was him, you know, he's telling the other guy with the goatee, who's like the traveler guy, is kind of keeping or telling them what to do. Oh telling them what to do in the sense that because the other you know the main character he doesn't know what's going on so he's just kind of keeping them up to speed and the daemon's like wait a minute like i don't take orders from you like we take orders from our master and um yoru right yeah yoru, yoru is like okay well i don't want to give anyone commands like that's not what i do but like here's the request and then the command is leave her for for me 
So the burly demon goes to like find other people. And then the girl demon is like kicks the shit out of the other girl's demon and is like, well, he told me like I can do whatever I want to do. And this is what I want to do. I want to fucking kill this motherfucker. Yeah. And I just thought that was so cool too. Like it wasn't a situation where the demon's like, oh, really? I can do whatever I want. Okay. I'm going to like rain terror or like get out of here or like dip or like, yeah, you know, it was like, oh no, I'm still going to be like loyal to this person right. or like help out this person, which I liked. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, he, you know, he's having flashbacks to his father, like taking him to visit these like spirits in this underground uh, that were statues at this time. And, um, at the time when he was a kid and show him this underground passage that leads to the cage that his fake sister will be held in. Um, which is the same cage that I believe his real sister was being held in at a certain point. But we find out that his parents um, grabbed her and left. And night. left. And again, it's a lot. The <laughs> We're like going through it because no, it's I don't want to so, like, yeah, I, I don't want to tell so you everything. Much. You either read it at this point yeah. or, you know, we're we're trying to sell you on it. So I'm it's, not trying to go through beat by beat no, no, no. and tell you things that happen every But single. we're telling the things that we are saying are like, it's just <laughs> a lot. If like, you've stayed... And you still haven't read it, and you're just you're just here to hang. Then yeah, you're probably like, what? The, your head's probably spinning. <laughs> yeah, because we're like the girls' Damon and that Damon. Like it's just too much. Uh, another part that I liked, which they kind of explain, and this is where I was like, oh, that's so clever. That's so cool. Um, when everything's going down, they're leaving the village. Uh, there's two hikers dressed in like normal ass clothes, fucking you know, just like anyone would be, tinny shoes and and hats and stuff. Um, the goatee guy. I call him goatee, but then he's not really goatee guy anymore. Traveler guy and um, Hana, I believe is his. No, 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 no uh, I'm oh, talking about him. Yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yuru. Yuru. Yeah. They're like running out of the village and the hikers are like talking about this lost village that you, once you enter, you can never leave. So they're leaving and obviously the villagers are like, whoa, like, are they from the lost village? Because they can never really, they could go back, but like it's kind of hard because the barrier is around it. Mm -hmm. um, but I just like that how it's like common knowledge for people on the outside too. It's like kind of like a myth, mm -hmm. and that's why they're untouched from like time. Yeah, yeah. And that was that was cool to me. So that, that that's kind of when the story begins to explain things to the main character, um, Hana, which is like a driver. Um, she's a seer as well yeah she's just here yeah, yeah. They're, so. they're part of the, again they're a pair of people in charge of protecting this village basically be uh being the bodyguards of this village or being like the uh uh the caretakers of of this village for generations um, their family has lived on the outside yeah. but they still uphold that tradition of keeping the village like a secret or keeping it you know safe <laughs> But let's talk about before we move on beyond this like first and second chapter, because all of this stuff happens in the first and second chapter. So when he does unleash these demons, you know, and they 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 kind of are released as lightning and bring down these helicopters. Um, and we see his his uh, this villain who is telling us and telling him that he that she is his real sister and that this other sister is a fake and she is killing everybody. Like people are dying, dropping like flies left and right, ruthless shit. Um you are the only conclusion you can logically draw is that this these people that have come in to this village the helicopters to take him, and the gun people and who she works for to take him are like evil people but this girl with the daemon uh who has uh, uh is basically just like a giant mouth and, and the eye patch the real sister um when the dust starts to settle and they're left alone because, you know, he shot her up with arrows and they're sort and of And they're like, leaving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The your Yuru's leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she, the, 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 the pigtail girl asks the sister, like, you know, um, you let him go. It, are we going to get in trouble for that? And she's saying, like, no, it was just important to uh, confirm that he was still alive and well. And, 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 and she goes, OK, so, yeah, he's alive and well then. And it cuts back to the iPad sister and she's crying. Like, as she's like, the first time she's like, Yeah, we just needed to, at least we know he's alive and well. And then it kind of cuts back to her and then cuts back again. And then she's saying it again, but crying, almost like she's hearing it for the first time or mm. understanding it for the first time. And she's weeping that her brother is still alive. And we're sold so hard on her being heartless and cold based on her, like, 
introduction. That's, uh, introduction, yes, but there are times within the first couple pages, like when she spares like his friend and, and they're his not mom. They're not killing kids. They're not killing kids, but the his you know she looks and then she just walks away. Like they they were right. spared. Yeah. Like maybe because she knew that they were homies and you know whatever. So she, yeah, there's definitely a weird dynamic going on because she doesn't want to like kill him but we get explained later that they are a special pair of twins who hold certain powers and that they could bring on the end of the world but it's not going to be them that's going to do it it's going to be the people that want the power for themselves which like, i already love that more yeah i me like too. that so much more because then it's like whose side are you on like you know, are you were you told lies? Like, were you raised in this in this situation that like you think you're in the right and people are telling you that you're in the right? Speaking on the sister, you know, Yoru, like who told you like that you need to find me? Like for what reason? Like they're gonna have two different mentalities on what's right and what's wrong. And I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um Well, because again, she was put into a cage. And I think her um parents broke her out because they wanted a better life for her. Now, Yuru does, at a certain point in the first volume, feel a little fucked up about that because he's like, okay, well, if this is the truth, if this is real, I thought our parents abandoned both of us. He loved um, me. But they just fucking abandoned me. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? And left that? me to, like, live a lie. Yeah. But so, it, it would have been, like, you know, there's a reason. It, it, if he just stayed in the village his whole life and died in the village, then nothing bad would have come about them. Yeah. But they were found out. Eventually, you know, I think the granny knew that was going to eventually happen as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a, such an interesting dynamic between the two of them because I really don't think she's inherently bad. It's just the people that want her to find her brother might be bad. <laughs> I don't think but that even those people that we meet later on um, definitely seem like they're um, a little bit more sinister. And even I one think of they the are. very main guys seems like he's. But not like even him. Him, him, him uh, being so... Um, We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Him Again, this, this, this was just the conversation part. This is the fun part. Things we <laughs> liked about it. Highlights for us. Like the older guy that we see is like the head of you, of the organization later. He, he, I think him evil. being like so he's like nice, nice is mm -hmm. what's sinister. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I think We've seen it before, girl. Yeah, yeah. We know your tricks, girl. <laughs> we know your tricks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but all, I mean, everything that we just kind of like gushed about was, was chapter one and chapter two, like, and maybe a little into chapter three, but it well, was, it was, no, 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 it yeah. was that's just chapter one and chapter two. Cause there's only four chapters in the first volume. And then it's kind of like them going to convenience stores, fish out of water. Fish out of water. He doesn't know what the fuck is happening. He's like, what's a car? Where are the horses? And Hana, which is like the driver's like, the horses are in here. It's not important right now. <laughs> like just but, get but in. So funny. Um, like, so funny. Like the demons are on the, the hood of the car, just sitting there. Cause no one really can see them obviously, except if you're a seer and they're at a seven 11 and like the latrines and eateries are just here for you. They're like, wow, because yeah. they've been asleep or, or like not asleep, but they haven't been in their they've physical been bound forms. They've these statues for 400 years. 400 years. Yeah. yeah. So they don't know what's really going. And they've been in the village. So there's like no other. They don't know what's happening. Um, there's another point, too, when another like Damon kind of rode alongside them. And I forgot the term. It was like I forgot the name of it, but it was a woman on a horse and it was just so cool. I, yeah. I love it. It's kind of similar to um, that other anime that I watched with like the monsters coexisting with the uh, human beings. Oh yeah. Like <gasps> yokai something. Yokai. Oh, I forgot what it was. Tonari. No, I, uh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot I'm so too. bad. Um, but it gave me those vibes. Like I love, I love that world. I love seeing them kind of like coexisting or like just being not visible to humans, but they're always there. Um, that's so cool to me. And we got to see that in the first couple chapters. They agree to... Um, Hana and the other guy agree to like get fake married so that they could have him as a son and like live kind of under... Under... You like, know, they wraps. Could just, yeah, under yeah, wraps. yeah, they could just keep their identities a little bit more... Uh, secret. Yeah. Uh, and, and not draw too much attention. Yeah. And, but again, but again, like it, it's these are the character moments that really stand out. Like these character uh, moments are funny. The fish out of water thing is a is a is a trope that that happens in in a lot of media and a lot of stories. But again, here 
it, it never felt like it overstayed its welcome. It, it does feel like Yuru really does, it lasts for like a chapter, and I'm sure there will be instances of it, instances of it from, from time to time. But um, after that, you know, chapter, he gets his bearings and he's like, okay, let's go find my parents. Like, let's find my quote unquote sister and let's find my parents. And again, how Megan uh, uh, mentioned in the beginning that this story moves, it moves. Like it's always, they're never in one place <laughs> no. for long at all. Yeah. The bitches are moving. They're fucking moving. And I, I, I love that because even the, um, the daemons don't really know, like, what is going on and they don't but they're like solely just like yeah whatever you want we'll do but what we're, we're here for you like we don't and they mentioned him being a kid and they mentioned a lot of things but but they're bound to him like they're yeah. it's you know it's what they it's their purpose i guess I mean, it's like, like he yeah. is their master they're like a team like he's like i want to go do this and they're like oh no we have your back they're so loyal to him off, yeah. the, off the jump and and again the personality between the two daemons not just in their design which is so funny which is what we were talking about earlier but like i love the and i don't know which one is left and which one is right but um the the girl daemon yeah yeah her a sense of humor is yeah. so funny. She's got these like dead eyes from time. She's to very time. dry. Yeah, she's very dry. And then you have like the juxtaposition of like the other like huge like buff Damon who's just very like jovial and like ready for a fight, very yeah. barbarian esque yeah. type of guy. And they're just down to fucking. They're down to just you know be chill with him. And it's like them being so familiar with each other makes sense because they've been watching him since he's been a kid too. Like they're connected to him that way as well. So it's not just like we like a genie situation where like oh we're just here now. Like you can feel like they care about him because they've seen him like grow up. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it was just nice. It wasn't something that I questioned of like how would they really just like blindly follow this guy like or just like like him like it doesn't make any sense yeah they 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 like to do it they don't have a problem doing it which is i think another hurdle that uh in a lot of stories is maybe added unnecessarily like the the all powerful beings uh, questioning why they have to follow this this kid or or yeah. lend this kid yeah you know their power but here they just they go along with it right away and we also find out more things about, you know, his his parents, which is why he wants to go after uh, them to ask why they left him behind and, and took his real sister, if that is his real sister, which he now knows is true because the daemons can smell blood and they can smell that the blood is is similar uh, in, 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 in their scent. Relation. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, th like, you know, his father was apparently someone that lived in that village and his mother was like a hiker who got lost and ended up in that village and just started living there and so i think yeah, we're gonna, gonna leave yeah i yeah i think we're gonna find out a lot more about like them and 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 that whole situation and why things ended up the way they were mm -hmm. but i want to talk about the villains for a little bit um outside of just the uh sister um this other organization that we are introduced to um, they are an, an organization that has sort of splintered from this main village and were once a part of it and have now, because of ideological differences, have like gone their separate ways. Um, I, I, I fucking like these. I like the main guy, mm -hmm. the main guy with the fucking fish. Glasses. The, 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 the fucking fish. Dinger. And I, I think they, they seem to take care of like yeah. civil issues. They seem to be hired to take care of like requests, like. It is very much giving, um, what would you just, I mean, like, I guess like Chainsaw Man or like something like that. Like there's a girl who was being stalked and the guy with the glasses used his daemon to like get rid of the stalker and was like, the stalker's all done. Like he's all taken care of. Like you can go to work now without having to worry about this shit anymore. And that's where we see like the big fish in the, it's pretending to be like a young woman. And he's about to attack the fucking woman that he's like, yeah. chomped. Yeah, so um, cool. That was cool. And even again, like that's why even like Full Metal was really good at that too. Like making you obviously the villains in Full Metal are fucking crazy, but you were like endeared to them and like you wanted to see that more. Well, because more of their relationships and and more of like how they operated. I'm just I'm just tired of seeing cookie cutter villains and I think 
here again there are just very small things very 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 small things that like make me care about them like again they did not complete their mission they went to this village infiltrated this village they lost helicopters equipment they People. lost soldiers they lost their target they lost a lot of shit and at least right now and this could potentially be something that is covering up something sinister it could all be an act but at least right now they seem to care like they seem to care that you know that uh this person almost got killed mm -hmm. um that one of theirs almost got chomp chomp girl um yeah they they don't want the sister to go out because now that the uh twin her brother has left people will be trying to get their power too they'll be hunting her down too so mm -hmm. it almost again it could very easily be covering up their their uh evil nature and if it's revealed that they're like horrible people like i won't be upset about that but at least right now i don't know like they are kind of gray right now they 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 might have some things that make me believe they're 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 you know scary people but like they haven't outright done anything like super fucked up well i mean they kill a lot of they kill people they killed a lot of people in the village the fucking they didn't kill any uh kids number one and then the, okay but they still killed people but here's the here's why i say and i'm not saying they haven't that, done anything bad yet i'm no, like they I'm literally not, look, slaughtered then, people but i think <laughs> Because, again, these were people who were part of the same village. So I think these innocent villagers, I think they were all undercover. They all know shit. So, like, mm. I, that I, has yet to be confirmed. Again, but that's yeah, that's part of it. That's part of why I think it's like it's cre it's creating intrigue. I'm interested to see, you know, uh, how it shakes out because, yeah, I mean. I don't know. They're 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 just uh they're just not that kind of cookie cutter villain organization. No, no, not at all. And it's just it's it's fresh, dude. It's fresh. It's it's just like and 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 yes, the guy, the main guy, the old guy that's in, uh, in charge of everybody, him being like the sweetest guy in the first volume, old man, is is probably um going to come back and be revealed that he's like the, the most horrifying person or in, in or the world. i mean it has a vault it's still going so it could be like someone else another big bad it could again, you know? exactly yeah and they it could, could be them to having together. to work together because yeah. they do have like you know these ideological differences these differences in 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 like philosophy of how to how to how to harness the power of the daemons because that's what it kind of seems like right because you said like they're using their daemons to do very worldly things and I believe that it could be the belief of the village because they live so traditionally that the power of the demons aren't meant for like those kinds of things like those like things of 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 uh you know what I mean of the current the modern age like uh, these small problems yeah yeah I mean it is just like whatever you command them to do like even the other daemon um, the burly one was like, whoa, like we really lucked out this time getting like a master who's so hands off. Like we lucked yeah. out this time because like implying that the last master that they had was like not like that at all. Um, So that'll be interesting. Hopefully we get some like information on their previous master as well. Yeah. Um, And there's just so many like open ends that you want to know more about. Um, You want to see through and... Yeah, I mean, even like Hana, which we meet, they all live together now, and she that has her own demons. <laughs> <laughs> she has her own demons too, um, which are a dog and like a cat, but it looks like a tiger. And I, I forget what she she calls them, um, but it's like a tiger, a tiger in the back, a tiger in the front, cat in the yeah, back. Yeah, no, no, like dog and wolf in the front. Lion. Oh, tiger at the front door, wolf at the back door, and they're like daemons so they just look like a cat and a dog but one tracks down the main character because he leaves to go find his sister and the cat is like on gps like using a fucking phone and it was just so silly and cute um and i loved it yeah i was funny. like i'm fucking sold now i want to see funny. more of them even like it is hana and the, and the other guy um their relationship is just so funny like everything yeah, he shaved his beard and she was like, because she said she wanted to marry Jason Statham. Yeah. And she's like, damn, you shaved your beard. Now you look nothing like Jason Statham. <laughs> the one thing that made you kind of sort of almost <laughs> maybe look like him is gone and, and I have no need for you anymore. He's like, fuck. 
Um, uh, but yeah, he's like already like my <laughs> wife has, res- uh, yeah, 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 has uh, given into like verbal abuse. Or whatever. Yeah, um, they're they're you know they're gonna be, they're gonna be the 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 slow burn. I feel. Oh, you think they're gonna actually really fall in love? I could see, I could see that maybe I could see that. I mean maybe uh, you know I don't know. Even Full Metal didn't really have like a lot of like romance. It was like kind of like a understood thing we don't have to talk about. You know between yeah. like Winry and Edward, it was like until later it was re- then it was like finalized. But yeah. I don't know because there's a lot of they got a lot of shit to do. <laughs> they got a fucking a lot. beating people and and it ends with um the main character going to a warehouse because the Damons can smell really well and finding his sister. And it's a trap. But can I say again? This is another thing that was so fucking refreshing. <laughs> can about I say damn, again? Uh, this damn fucking manga was that like he set Yuru, the main character, sets his goal pretty early on. I mm-hmm. think it's like maybe three chapters into the manga. He says like, I want to find my sister so that I can find my parents so that I can find out what the fuck is going on. Um, because no one knows. The daemons were only in the statues and saw whatever they could see, people coming and going, and the other people that they're living with, that he's living with, don't know. Um, are just doing this job because it is it is uh, something that has been passed down to them generationally, and it's just sort of this thing that they do. They don't know a lot either. So he's like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find my parents so I can get some answers. So you think, okay, well that's gonna be his goal for like, I don't know. Chapters and chapters and chapters. And yeah, by the end of the first volume, he hasn't met his parents, but like he's already met the the main guy, not the main, main guy, but like one of the main guys from this other organization. Like he's they've already crossed paths. And his sister. Well, no, that was the fish. No, no, no. I mean, back. They. What do you mean? In the manga, in the first volume, he already met his sister. Oh, like in the first chapter. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you meant at the end. Uh, no. When he was like luring. No, I said it was a trap. But. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like that the the fact that they already crossed paths at the end of the first volume, like again, just shows how fast it moves and how uh, to me, I would say confidence. Yeah, confidence and like it's not too early. There's a reason why. Yeah, like because usually it would be like a slow burn of like, I need to go find my sister because that's not my real sister. Wait, yeah. it was a fake the whole time. Now I need to go on a journey to find my real twin sister. Like, but it was like, no, I'm here, yeah. and I'm here to take you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the manga guy is saying, like, no, I got a story to tell. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have time to fuck around. I got a story to tell. And this is could, just the tip of the fucking iceberg. I mean, you could feel that. I mean, we we, we went through a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Um, there's it's jam packed. Like this shit is jam packed. There's there's no room for any breathing with this first volume. Um, and it's very intentional because you you know a lot of things and you want to know more of them and you're sold pretty much on the first one. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I was I was completely sold. Um, I can't wait uh, to read more of this. And I, I think this has potential to get an anime for sure. I mean, I would love to see this animated. I, I, I feel like it's going to get an announcement. I really, you know, timestamp this moment. I feel like this shit. Any day now is going to get an anime announcement. That would be cool. I mean, look it up. It's right there. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, on Google Air? <laughs> yeah, so it's, an anime? it's the second one. Uh, bah, 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 bah. He's getting an anime adaption. Is that what it says? May 23rd, 2024. Is that real? Yomi no Sugai. That's the Japanese name. Is getting an anime adaptation. This is, this is, this is, uh, news from Twitter. Whoa, this is live this in the is, fucking, yeah, we're, finding we're this. fucking is getting an anime adaption. Uh, it's it only has 29 chapters as the first comment. Like, what do you mean? It only has 29 chapters. Shut up. That's 25 episodes. Shut up. People are other people are very excited. Though. This is huge. <laughs> this is huge. It was only a matter of time. Okay, so it looks like yeah. it could potentially already be getting oh, an anime wow. adaptation. I didn't know their hair colors or anything. It's I nice know we're seeing see. the, the <laughs> image of them in color. <laughs> we're doing this in real time. Uh, wow, that's fun. This is such a fun series. I dude. love, I love the dog and the cat. I'm obsessed. <laughs> no, I'm like literally a, so obsessed. How fucking cute are they? Yeah. Hana's so cute too. Hana is cute. Honestly, the demons are cool as hell too. That's what I'm saying. Like, knocked it out of the park with the character designs. I mean, it was it was. How would you rate this? I mean, we, we wanted to do. Demons are kind of spooktobery, so this is kind of like a spooktober special. But I would rank this eight. I would rank this eight 
point five. Out of Damon horns, oh, out of ten. Eight point five Damon horns out of ten. Uh, honestly, I would I would say nine, nine, yeah, mm. Damon horns. I mean, the, literally, the only thing that is is keeping me from going higher is that it 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 does it does move, um, and it do, it does throw a lot at you. <laughs> it and does. I don't know that there was a better way to do that, really, because I no, by cause the end of it, I'm glad that it, it's over that it, they got through it. That's what I mean. You know what That's I mean? the only reason why I rate it like eight point five. But I know it was like a necessary, like quote unquote evil right, to just fucking right. front load it. Doom. Um, and it was fine because it felt like you were moving with the story yeah. and you were learning the information because you have to get caught up really quickly because you're getting thrown into this world much like the main character is. Yeah. And like reality is changing for you. Um or his reality is changing. So you need to kind of like understand what's going on. So I, I, that's why I excuse it. Cause it was done really well. And sometimes usually it's not done very well. And it's no. very boring. Um, even if the content is like cool and interesting, um, it's not always fun. So that's why 8.5 Damon horns out of 10 for me. personally. And nine Damon horns uh, out of 10 for me. This was an incredible uh, first volume. Can't it really was. More. Um, we were expecting nothing less. Honestly, I, yeah. But it was like a given that it was going to be good. But but even still, like even though I kind of knew that it had to be good. Yeah. You mentioned Samurai. A, but you and, didn't and realize it's, how it's, good it was going to be. A, number one, it's not a guarantee. And yes, number two, how good it ended up being was kind of crazy. Like how much I love this is kind of crazy. <laughs> and how I don't know, man. Like, yeah, that it's no one's so, really talking about it. I don't yeah, know. Maybe it, people are, but and I just not in my neck of the woods. I guess <laughs> it's so different. It's so different than Full Metal. It I is. think it's so different, um, and it has its own personality. Mm -hmm. Even though you know the and its own art for sure. is very reminiscent, obviously because it's the same creator. But it's so great. I mean, I wonder how I would feel if like. I don't know. I mean, someone else, like a huge mangaka, like Araki, were to make like a totally, completely Araki's separate Araki's a, a different kind of case, though, because he he kind of does. Like every part, like he kind of does. I, mean, I guess you're right. They're all no, still but JoJo. They're, but, but they're still... They still have stands and everything like yeah. that. But even well, the stands, he kind of that's yeah. not really true. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, he kind of just <laughs> okay. Rocky was not not the right <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I guess Oda. I guess Oda. Oda making or like, because I mean, Tatsuki, he, Fujimoto, like he's done like one shots and those are very No, different. but he did Fire Punch and yeah. that was like a whole series. That was a whole series. That was a whole series. And then so I'm did, not really uh... good at giving you examples of manga. <laughs> you would think I would have I mean, more knowledge. I, I, I would kind of compare it honestly to um, like, and maybe this is wild, but um, it's almost similar to, and I hope it ends up being like this historically long term the mangaka the creator of uh, hunter hunter where like they did yu yu haka show and it was a classic and it was so fucking good beloved still Belo beloved yeah and then they did hunter hunter after that <laughs> and you're like what the fuck <laughs> chill out bro like and so th that's kind of what this feels like like mm. they did full metal alchemist and then they did this and i hope this gets the reputation um and and like people talk about it not as much as full metal because i just don't think that's ever going to happen but like you know that, that more people good. become aware of it and start I mean, reading it. And when the anime comes out, start fucking watching it. When the anime comes out, it's just going to fucking blow up. I promise. I promise. Because. Because it's not like. It's not very. The anime could easily make it feel kind of textbooky. I'm not going to lie. I could see certain parts, but it's it's it's. It doesn't feel like basic. Like it really doesn't. It feels like. Yeah, she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah. Um, with every every fucking I'm telling you, like she's so seasoned. Like every panel is so fucking good. The details are so good. The landscape, the character designs, the uh, emotions. Like I mean, all of it is just so well done. So if you're looking for a safe bet on something mm -hmm. new to read, then I would suggest Damons of the Shadow mm -hmm. Realm. Pick that shit up.
pick it up. Especially if you like Full Metal. I mean, it's like a no brainer. Period. If you like good manga, pick it up, read it, check it out. And if you already have, if you were just hanging out with us and chilling with us during the spoiler free section of the podcast, then um, let us know. Uh, Well, let us know your thoughts if you've already read it. Like, tell us, tell us your favorite parts if you've read Beyond. Don't spoil anything, but you could say things like, it stays this good or it gets better or you can even say if it's if it's if it's uh what you actually believe you can say it falls off um if if if, if it does and you and you feel like it does um, uh, you can comment anything you'd like but nothing like spoilery you know what i'm uh, saying like well yeah but you'd be surprised that you gotta fucking say that you're you, like oh we're like comment anything you want <laughs> someone literally right now is like fuck and i'm deleting it right now um oh gosh i mean we're in classic one volume uh volume one yeah. I forgot my my spiel that I used to say. You can comment a comment, comment a period, comment a comma. Well, on these, the any, reason we started saying that is because on these, yeah, I mean, any kind we, of comment that, helps. I'm getting there. Sorry. I'm getting there. Um, mm. Any comment helps. Um, any engagement helps. If you want to share this to one of your homies who's like, what the f- is the demons of the shadow realm? Share it to them. Mm-hmm. Share it to... Um, anyone Mm. that you want um like subscribe if you're not subscribed already um and again like josh said tell us what you think Mm. um also comment any requests for any other volume ones you'd like to see us review um we apologize they're very few and far between um but we want to start doing them more frequently so you know comment below i mean we're gonna do them when we can even even recording this one i'm gonna be honest was not easy Um, (laughs) and uh we have something to record right after this but we do them because we love them and i don't know i just people probably think that we don't uh and that's why we don't do them but we do and and we know that there are people who also enjoy them and so this is for you guys because we appreciate you and so we're gonna do them when we can and it is what it is I just, you know, it's a thing. It's it's just a thing about YouTube that's never going to change. And, you know, it is what it is. But even this, even this, something that we barely ever do and are now like, you know what? We want to do that again. And for the people who care, we want to do it for them too. There's still going to be one comment. It's like, well, so um, where's this thing? You know what I mean? And that's all right. All right. Let's not get caught up in the. the I'm just saying that's never going to go away. Let's not get caught up. In the the what ifs here, okay, because this is volume one, <laughs> okay, an actual volume one episode, um, and it's all about positivity. All, all right, you're bringing you're bringing it down. I, I, I didn't say it in a downer way. No, you I, did. I said it in a way that's like it's just a kuda matata, you know. Should means said no that. worries. Should have said it's that. The circle of life. It's not what you were saying. Um. Anyway, that's, that's gonna, gonna do, do it. it for this volume one review episode of Demons of the Shadow Realm. Go buy it. Go buy it. Go, go read, read it. it. Um, and yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. The only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro. It's always the same. It never changes. Which today, Megan is. Damon. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get your juices flowing. I'm trying to get your juices. You know what I mean. Your creative like changes, juices but Damon's. Yeah, you got it. Because a lot of changes. I don't like it. Happen in the main character's life. He went through a lot of. Ch- ch- changes. Okay. Chomp. Chomp, chomp. And we do that. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video, for hanging out with us for another classic volume one episode. And until next time, chomp, chomp. chomp. I'm going to fucking chomp your ass. Whoa. Chomp. I'm chomp your Whoa. Ass. Hey, it is what it is. I'm not taking it back. Oh. He does not like that. <laughs> he does not like that. And so you're gonna what my ass? <laughs>